What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about Battlefield 7. Let's get right into this. Battlefield 7 is reportedly in the works at DICE. They have not confirmed a release date, but it's expected that it's going to release around 2024 or 2025. With this news being leaked, some gamers are just not so excited. The last Battlefield game was far from great. Battlefield 2042, upon release, had many glitches, mechanical flaws, and features missing from the game. When I first got Battlefield 2042 on the PlayStation 4, it could barely be played. Played. There were so many glitches and I just couldn't stay in a match without being disconnected. Now that I have gotten the PlayStation 5 version, the game does play more smoothly. Battlefield 7 is reportedly going to be set in 2020 to 2030 around that time, which makes it more of a modern war game rather than a futuristic game or a war from the past. Multiplayer will also be returning with Battlefield's traditional 64 versus 64 player modes, and the maps are reportedly going to have big destructive events on each of them, along with one map having a fully destructive city. For Battlefield 7, there will be a way in a game to fully check your stats online, which would make it easier to track your trophy progress and also check to see how you improve in the game over time. They are also set to add more customization options for weapons and also your characters. Honestly, I liked that in Battlefield 2042, you could attach three three different scopes or other attachments to a single weapon and change them mid-match. It honestly made it easier to navigate and play the game and it was definitely different than other war games where you could switch the scopes and attachments mid-match. Now of course there was not unlimited slots, you could only do three of each attachment, but still that was a lot of fun. They're also going to be returning in Battlefield 7 the Battle Royale mode, which I most likely will not be playing just because in Battlefield and other war games. I'm not a fan of Battle Royale. For Battle Royale, I usually stick with Apex Legends because that's my favorite one, but I might play the Battlefield 7 version if it does include trophies for the game. We were used to a new Battlefield game every few years, but with Battlefield 2042 being a broken game upon release, hopefully they take their time with Battlefield 7 to fix a lot of the issues that the last game did have prior to even releasing it. That honestly would make Battlefield Field 7 a great game if they could just fix everything that was a flaw from the previous game. Not only would it make it a great game, but it would also bring back a lot of the players that left the franchise because of the broken Battlefield 2042. Now, I actually have been playing Battlefield 2042 a lot more recently on the PlayStation 5 version, and I must say it does run a lot more smoothly. There's not really any glitches, and I don't get kicked out of the matches as often as I did on the PlayStation 4 version, but I do see that there is a lot less people playing the game than there used to be when it first was released. With that being said, I'm currently enjoying the game, but hopefully Battlefield 7, once it is released, it will be flawless and a lot of people will come back to the franchise. I know I'm excited with the return of a campaign mode in Battlefield games. I do love the online aspects, but I do like certain things, what is being released and announced and leaked about Battlefield 7. The campaign, it sounds like it's going to be awesome. And the fact that you can finally check and fully check all of your stats for online matches and online games that you have played honestly will help with checking your trophies status and everything else that you can just really enjoy the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll update you on any future Battlefield 7 news. Peace.